What is up guys, it is Nick. We are here to start Witcher Wednesdays, so every Wednesday I will post at least one, at least one episode of The Witcher 3, um, depending on how this goes. It's gonna take a while, this is gonna be a long adventure, but depending on how it goes, we may end up doing Witcher 2, I do own it, um, and then, I don't know, if it goes really well, I'll do Witcher 1 on the PC, but... We're just going to be playing through The Witcher 3, having some fun, a little bit of a break from the MMORPGs on the channel, give us something a little bit different to have fun with. Uh, that's that's the plan right now. Um, just something a little bit different on Wednesdays. Something I can have fun with, uh, something a little bit different. And this is actually something that I've always wanted to do. Um, I've always wanted to 100% The Witcher 3. Um, I'm gonna let it load here before I, I don't remember if there's an I think there's an opening like cutscene a little thing once you reach the main menu yeah okay so after we hit a here but as you can see I have 1310 of the 2000 achievements in or 2000 gamer score in the Witcher 3 um, I'd like to try to get all of them uh, in the series and complete the game kind of but uh, complete all Witcher contracts easy enough We'll probably have to do take a little bit of time to do this one, which is the enemy. My enemy is force one opponent to kill each another. There's some places you can farm these, so that's what we'll do in an episode. Uh, kill ten opponents by knocking them off somewhere high. That's at the pit. There's a pit where you can push them off. Perform ten effective counterattacks in a row without getting hit or parrying. Um, that's, a, that's a decently hard one, but there's a spot where you can get it pretty easily. Ignite the gas produced by a dragon's dream bomb using a burning opponent. Do this 10 times uh, pretty much just light the person on fire and throw a dragon stream bomb at them uh, making an opponent suffer from bleeding poisoning and burning simultaneously do this 10 times that's one of the harder achievements um i'm sure there's a video out on it so i'll have to use that for that uh kill 50 human and non-human opponents by striking them in the head with a crossbow bolt that's not easy but if you go for it i'm sure it's not that hard acquire all gwent cards available in the base version of the game we'll be getting that complete all fist fighting quests in velen skellige and novigrad that'll get completed by 100 percenting everything win all the horse races that'll get completed by 100 percenting uh, be under the influence of seven potions or decoctions at the same time um there's a special way to do that i'll look it up um but most of these will get done at the end of the game defeat all the fallen knights and loot their campsites that'll get done by doing 100 percent Collect all of available Ophiri armor and horse gear and at least one Ophiri sword. I that'll get be that'll get completed by doing 100%. Uh, be decorated with the Order of Vitis Vinifera. Um, I'm sure that'll get done by completing everything. Serve time in Toussaint. I'm not exactly sure how to get that one, so I'll probably have to look it up. Obtain a flawless victory in all the competitions during the night's tourney. I'm hoping you don't have only one shot at that. We'll find out. Be given Aaron Dite by the Lady of the Lake. I'm sure that'll get completed by doing everything. Find all Grandmaster diagrams for each Witcher school. Definitely get that done. Unlock the bonus for equipping all the Witcher gear. For, and we'll get that done. And then I believe these are just story related for the... Well, I don't know about these two because no one has those unlocked. So maybe not. Um, and maybe not these bottom three. But these three are just story related because I never beat Wine and Blood. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing all the DLC for this too. But this is the opening little thing I here. I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. 
Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery, their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity, long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain. So, obviously, if you couldn't tell from all my Black Desert character names, uh, this is... I'm not going to say it prob it, it is my favorite game i think um there's some other things up there with it but uh, i think this game's probably my favorite so we're gonna be starting a brand new game um i have all of these um i believe my continue is like a level 60 character on new game plus going for 100 percent completion uh but we are just going to be starting a regular new game um so also in here let's see is it display where is the gameplay there are i think i have them on but i'm not entirely sure there's there's alternative outfits for characters oh here we go it's under options for so the alternative looks i'm gonna have them on and then the ballad heroes additional gwent card set i'm gonna have all of this on for this because we've all well not all of us but i i've seen the base game plenty of times um i kind of i kind of enjoy the alternative ones just a just a wee bit more but it's new game uh so we are going to do a fresh start you can do only the dlcs and start at an appropriate level um or you can do a new game plus but we're going to do fresh start and i think i mean i've done death march before it's not ridiculously hard but it's not like i don't know it's it's not too hard i might do we'll start on death march we'll see how it goes if i die too much we'll, we'll knock it down because I, I it's not like i wanted to make this an extreme challenge but we can have we can have some fun with uh with death march um i'm gonna leave the tutorials on because it's been a while since i played this i think it's been like a year and a half since i've actually gotten on this game um, you have to simulate your Witcher 2 save because you can't transfer it over because Witcher 2 was on Xbox 360, which is kind of tragic because I have that game beat and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. I don't need I don't need the auto saves. Doesn't feel like this game should be th what is it four years old almost now? It came out in 20. It came out early 2015. It was my introduction into Witcher.
if any of the audio is off, as per usual, I'll get it adjusted in an upcoming episode. how good this looks. There will be large portions of this where it's all story, and then there will be multiple episodes where we never do anything related to the story. Um, but that's just how it's going to go. I always thought they could make bathtubs more comfortable than, like, having to lean back like that. Like, make it more like a chair or, like, a lounge. You know I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. one thing I never got. Why with her necklace does she take that 
that off. Like, she leaves, like, the necklace part, but she takes the gem off. Welcome to The Witcher 3. Okay, I know how to do some of this. Like, I don't, I don't need... I only need some of the tutorials. Okay, I, I understand. Alright, so we need to grab... Actually, what is this? Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. Let's get the key, and let's go train with Siri. I think... I can't do it here, but I think A is... I gotta remember all the controls. I think A is run. And I think... What is it? B? B is light attack, Y is heavy. Old witchers fast asleep. Series disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Had her taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike! You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! <laughs> exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Might as well. Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Okay, is a, is a sprint or is a jump? Okay, B is climb. Do I remember all of this? I think holding... What did I tell you about breathing? Yeah, holding... Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. 
holding A is Siri, cut it right. out. Oh crap. How do I get out of here? How do you jump? Uh oh. Okay, there's there's a walkway to the side. I was like, um I have to jump that. Alright, so I got the basics down that I kind of forgot. I forgot which button did which. We'll slap around the tutorial a little bit here. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Um... We just do free training. Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Oh, it's, is it not going to let me actually do the free training? <laughs> I think. Whoa! You really showed him, kid. I think right, tr right. Siri, get down here. Right trigger is your. Um, Signs. <laughs> the little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. I've long awaited this, and you, White Wolf. No! And now the real game begins. Wow, this loads really fast on the Xbox One X. I don't think I played it since. Well, maybe I have. Yeah, I have played this since the One X. I just remember the slow loading times on the regular Xbox One. They were atrocious. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. 
started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub, and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Will it be near Vizima? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. Mm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait. Hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Okay, so here we go. Okay, left trigger is block, B is dodge. X is fast attack, Y is strong. Come on! With most things in this game, if I remember correctly, X is always better. Oh, crap. And death marches, de death Damn. marches, death march. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Back it up. Alright. It's not how I want to start this out. Okay. I, for I forgot that. I forgot that dodging was more effective than, <laughs> than the blocking. The blocking is better for parrying. Um, the, the, the dodging is by far the better bet. All right, let me, let me not tragically. You <laughs> Skip through all this dialogue real quick. Right. So. Wait. What didn't a, over stop. What a tragic and start to this. What's this? Just skip through all this. Uh, uh, back on. Two, three. Wait. I... All right, here we go. Okay. How do I? That's not what I wanted. Take the take the sword back out. Take the sword back out. That's not what I wanted. I wanna. I wanna um switch my. I think I know what button it is. No, that's not it. Um. Oh, here it is. I want Quen. This is the best one because it gives you it gives you invulnerability. So. How do you like that silver? Come on. Learning to, um, 
kind of manage them is just the best thing to do, but having one hit of invulnerability on Death March is like the key to everything. You spend half your time running away from enemies. Adrenaline points. Of um, you spend I'm half your time. Necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, okay, up is up and down. You can set. Yeah. Okay. Double tapping left stick calls your horse. All right. I'm gonna loot because we have absolutely nothing at this point. So I want to collect what I can. A little bit of this stuff. You do have a carry weight, so I do gotta keep an eye on that. But you need all of these materials to make potions and mutations and decoctions. Um, I want to play on this harder difficulty, so I actually need mutations and decoctions, and they make sense, because if you play on a lower difficulty, mutations and decoctions don't make any sense. They're just not necessary. And so I'm kind of happy to play on the harder difficulty, so I need those. Um, we're going to be doing so much, it's going to make it easy eventually. I mean, we I think at a certain point we won't be, like, terribly struggling. I'm just going to grab these final things here. And, uh... Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. In the next one, we will hop on Roach and uh, head to find Vesemir... Or find head to find Yen with Vesemir... Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think of Witcher Wednesday. It's pretty much just going to be the format is us having um, good fun just playing through this game, trying to do as much as we can, as much as possible. That's pretty much the goal. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.